get back to the project that I've been wanting to get back to now for a couple of weeks but the weather and temperatures are actually working well for us now it's actually 60 degrees today can you believe it late November 60 degrees I'm not I'm liking it so we have this section up here at the top of just above our garden where it has been wooded and we're gonna work on culling out the trees getting rid of a lot of them and I want to have uh, some fruit trees growing area for fruit trees, an orchard, as well as some more beds to grow things, as well as run our chickens and ducks through it. And with all the trees that we've had here, we haven't been able to do that efficiently or easily. So uh, it's time to get back on that project. So we have about, I have cones we're sectioned off in four sections. And today we're going to start on the first section. And we have, we have our work cut out for us right here. I need to chop up a lot of this stuff. And use the shears and break it up and actually use it for firewood since the tree that was cut down here was rotting and just old so we can actually use this for good kindling maybe some now and then some next year but uh we got a work cut out for us all right there's a lot to chop up here with these shears so i'm going to be getting a good chest workout today so uh we're gonna just chop all these up with the shears and then as i'm chopping them up Mike is going to help load them up, and we have Sayla joining us for the party. So, uh, it's time to get busy. doing a fantastic job look at all that wood okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this wood closer to the house and we're gonna make a stack for it with the bigger pieces of wood and we're gonna put the kindling material into a wheel uh, I'm not a wheelbarrow into one of the barrels yes, sir. Take these pieces like this, small pieces, put them right in the wheelbarrow, just like that. Mm -hmm. Right there. These bigger pieces, take these bigger pieces and put them right there. Like this? Yep, like that one. Alrighty, I must admit, there's some task and some work that I don't necessarily look forward to doing. And uh, with all this, it's not my favorite task in the world. You know what, sometimes the kids here on the homestead, there's, there's projects and tasks they don't necessarily want to do either. But that's just part of life. All of us have to do things 
that at times we don't want to do we have to develop the muscles both physically and mentally that are involved in developing and having a good work ethic it's extremely important and i feel too few people have a good work ethic these days and uh it's showing and and part of our the purpose of our life is to serve and work for for the benefit of all humanity so this project may not be directly impacting humanity but right here we're all learning and developing and working on those muscles involved with work and having a good work ethic so back to work I'm sure there's some poison ivy in here as I can see some of it. But this is the best time of year to get this project done right now. Going for next season. I'm about to do what I gotta do to get the job done. I'm not sure, but that one may be poison ivy. Yeah. If anybody watching has any suggestions on what to do with the poison ivy, because you can't really burn it because it will get in your lungs and that's not good, let me know if you have any suggestions. So we have made a lot of progress. We have two more wheelbarrows. I have to count the gorilla cart and the wheelbarrow. Two more loads to take over there and unload. And then we probably have just a little bit more left from right over there. We're almost done. Somebody didn't think we would be able to get finished today, did you? Mm -mm. <laughs> well, we still have a lot more to do in this area all around. But we have at least chopped this up pretty good. And uh, we still have a lot of things to work on up in this area here. But uh, I'm considering this sector one then we have three more sectors as, as you can see all these different trees in here that we're going to progressively work cull out the trees and then gradually start getting them ready hopefully before spring uh, to have things growing and make this area more functional more fruitful more productive and uh, look forward to it there you go I must admit, I really enjoy working and working hard. But once I started getting into homesteading and actually doing homesteading, becoming a homesteader, I was like, whoa, this is a lot more work than I thought it would be. And it is. It's not easy work. And I think about the pioneers back in the day that that was their, that was their life. They had no, pretty much no other choice for the most part. And I feel like we are creating a world where we want a push button world. We want everything to be easy. And I think parents oftentimes make the mistake of trying to make their children's lives too easy. Wanting them to have a life easier than they had it. I think to a degree that's not wrong, but not teaching your children to work and, and not developing a good work ethic in general is, is bad and it'll put anybody at a disadvantage. So, one of the, the top three things that I feel is important for me as a parent, as a father, is to equip my children with a good work ethic. Yes, I want them to teach them all the academic things, but without the work ethic behind it, they're not gonna be able to apply themselves to learn the different things. So, it's very important to us that in the realm of, in the adventure and journey of homesteading, that we are passing on a legacy in multiple ways and that I'm growing at the same time. You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings but now I shine 
with your reflection on me I'm getting back up on my feet That you showed up was written in my palm You are a statement that's put like a bomb I get to push myself to victory You make me win Well, these are great, but they're not gonna work for that piece right there, as well as a number of other big logs that I need to cut and trees I need to cut down. This, these shears are from Radius Garden Tools, and they make a number of other great tools as well. I really like their digging fork. It's like a pitchfork. It's really great for turning compost, as well as some small shovels, and they have some root slayer shovels that are pretty good as well. Uh, and if anybody's interested in those tools, you can check out the show notes below. But for that big log that I just put down there, not that big, uh, but there are a number of other big ones that we're gonna be needing to use the chainsaw on, I'm gonna have to bust out the log ox. And I look forward to using that tool. I haven't had a chance to use it yet, and I'm pretty excited about getting to use it. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. And back, back to work. Um, thinking about Justin Rhodes and uh, the funeral for his father, uh, that they just had not too long ago, regretfully. Uh, one of the things that Justin mentioned was reflecting on how his father instilled in them a good work ethic at an early age. And, and just seeing how it has positively affected his life as well as the lives of his siblings. It's pretty amazing in how it has created a legacy in, in that aspect, in that regards. And as a father, I, I keep reflecting on legacy and, and, and wanting that desire to, to pass things on to my children. Uh, certain ways of life, especially, but physical things too, but, but making sure to pass down, even more importantly, the mental, spiritual things of life as well. Well, back to work. We're almost done. And we're using these shears here just to cut down a number of trees that have sprouted just along the back sides of here. But uh, we work hard. But as those of you know who watch our videos, my videos on a regular basis, you know that we also play hard, and act up, and, and have fun sometimes because that is very important too.